Hello, I'm Sean Hupel, and I'm going to be teaching you spirituality from the basics called the Wubu series. I've watched a lot of videos on spirituality, and I feel like a lot of people are teaching mid-level while they're learning it. Don't get me wrong, teaching is sometimes the best way to learn, but at the same time with spirituality, I think that a lot of basics are being skipped. So what we're going to start with is tuning your antenna, your body. And that begins with stretching. I say that with a smile because it's going to be uncomfortable. So why stretching and why your antenna? First off, it's wonderful for your lymphatic system. Like your lymph nodes and all of that, that's your immune system. And it doesn't have its own pump. So with your body's movement, you increase your immune system, which makes you a lot healthier as you're going through this process. It's gonna benefit your cardiovascular system. Within a month of doing what I'm teaching you, you're gonna start feeling better, more energy. And speaking of, you have what's called meridians and chakras. These are actual real things, and I'll prove it. All right, first up, take your thumb and put it right here between your thumb and your forefinger. Then take your index finger and put it right here, right between the two. Don't squeeze hard, but squeeze a little bit and you'll start feeling the pain. This is a police takedown, but it's where your meridians are. That actually really hurt. So meridians, they're kind of like the fuse box in your house. They're what controls what goes to all the different wires and they regulate the power for all of your wires. Then your chakras, those are the transformers outside controlling the energy that goes to all the houses. So all the fuse boxes. So if those are out of alignment and if your lymphatic system isn't moving, then you aren't getting things to your third eye, your brain. And you're going to find that your cardiovascular system immensely improves with stretching. Plus fewer injuries, assuming you do it right, which is where we're going into. And in future episodes, I'm going to teach you how to train your intuition. I'm going to teach you how to feel energies around you. And real quick, um, I've been doing this for over 30 years, pretty much all of my life, along with many other relatives. And we all have a natural affinity for talents. But you all have this affinity. You all have these abilities. We're just more tuned to it. Some people are more tuned, kind of like football players and basketball players. They tend to be a little bit more athletic. Think of it like spiritual athletics. I'm naturally more built for it than other people, and I've met plenty of other people that are way more built for it than I am. And we're all built for different talents to be strengthened in this way or in that way. I'm going to try and keep these videos short and succinct, so let's go right into it. Your first stretch, you're going to try and touch your fingertips to your toes. And don't be afraid of falling over. That's perfectly fine. We've all done it at some point. But you're going to feel this stretch in your back and you're going to feel this in your legs. <laughs> Definitely in your legs. It's very uncomfortable. And uncomfortable is good. You want to be uncomfortable, but you don't want to hurt. Don't push yourself too hard. So starting off, 15 seconds. Get down there, hold it as far as you can for 15 seconds. Work your way up to 30. And if you're feeling really ambitious, hold it there until you feel comfortable. It will happen. It might take a minute, might take two minutes, but once you're comfortable, you might be able to push another centimeter or so, maybe an inch, but not further than that, because you're not trying to hurt yourself. And we're going to do these stretches two times per day. It's less than five minutes. We can spare 10 minutes on our day, at least if you're serious about building your spirituality. And then the next stretch we're going to go into is the lunge. That means your leg is going to be at a 90 degree angle, your front leg, and your rear leg is going to be at about a 45 degree angle. Your front foot is straight, your rear foot is at a 45 degree angle. That's going to provide a little bit of balance for you. And with your lunge, you're going to take that 90 degree and you're going to push your hips forward. Stay upright, straight, but push your hips forward. It's going to feel funky if you're not used to stretching. But again, you want to push yourself not to the point of pain. If you feel any pain, tip over. Just fall because you don't want to hurt yourself in this. And when you do fall over, get up and do it again. What you're doing is you're building your muscular control. Your small muscles are going to be built through this process. And anybody who does any sort of bodybuilding will tell you the importance of stretching. So after that lunge, again, start with 15 seconds, work your way to 30, and then you can hold it until you are comfortable. Unless you're feeling really ambitious, if you hold it until you're comfortable, you're probably not going to hurt yourself. Just don't push yourself too far. Reach your limit and then hold yourself there. The next step is you're going to drop your rear knee to the ground. And then you're going to start walking your front foot forward. And you can like wiggle your foot to slowly inch it forward. I've done that. But your goal now is to do the front splits. And feel free to use your hands to balance yourself. That is perfectly fine. If you fall over, that's perfectly fine. We've all done it. Try to get your hand as close to your front foot as possible. That's going to be stretching your back. And it's also going to be a shoulder stretch. After you've done that, again, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, hold it till you're comfortable, your choice. From there, we're going to push ourselves up and we're going to try and form a V and do the sideways splits as much as we can. And if you're at this angle, that's perfectly fine. Everybody starts somewhere. And again, you can fall. If you need to put your hands in front of you and lean on them and put a lot of your weight on them, that's perfectly fine. I don't want you to hurt yourself. You're going to go as far as you can. And eventually what we're going to work to as you get used to it is we're going to try and touch our opposite hand to 
the opposite foot. But again, you're gonna work at your own pace. You're building muscles as you go through this. A lot of you have muscles that you haven't been using. So don't feel bad on your progress, please. And then from the sideways, you're gonna turn and face the other direction and you're gonna begin the lunges. And it's okay if you gotta drop your knee for a little bit and then get your knee back up, but you want your rear leg straight and you want your rear leg foot at a 45 degree angle. Then you're gonna push your hips forward, then you're gonna drop your knee and you're gonna try and do the splits. Of course, trying to stretch with the opposite arm to the opposite leg. So beginning off, do it twice per day, one time. Then work yourself up to two times. Then the second week, do it two times, twice per day. And then three times in that cycle, twice per day. And again, if you hold each stretch until you're comfortable with that stretch, you're gonna make a lot more progress a lot faster, but it's also very uncomfortable, which is probably expanding your boundaries. And when I say uncomfortable, like it may, it won't feel like true pain, but it'll feel like I don't wanna do this. And I get that, I've been there. I just got done doing that again because I let my body go a little bit and I'm getting back into it. And that's the catch. You gotta keep up with it every single day, five minutes per day. Bonus points if you go outside and you ground, meaning no shoes, no socks on the ground. And I think our next episode, I'm gonna be teaching you the basics of how to feel your intuition. It's gonna be some cool tricks, like some mind tricks, you're gonna like it. But for now, get used to tuning your antenna. This is gonna make a huge, huge difference. And as you go along through this journey, you're gonna find different stretches, like your body's gonna want you to try different stretches, explore those. And that's not a bad thing. That's your body telling you, I wanna grow these small muscles, I wanna grow the big muscles, I wanna have better posture, like that's your body speaking to you. And this is very much the basics. And be sure to like this video if you liked it, subscribe and follow because this is a series. I'm gonna walk you through step by step, give you different practices, different exercises. We're gonna train your mind and we're gonna make you more intelligent, dead serious. And if at any point throughout this journey you feel that my videos have helped you, consider donating down below because that allows me to get better equipment and to get a better setting and basically bring you more videos more often and better content. And side note, the Woo Woo series, this is for training, but I'm going to do other videos on spirituality. I'm going to tell you whether or not magic exists or not. It does. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take in information and we're going to process it ourselves and make up our own minds. And I have walked through so many different experiences myself. I'm going to talk about all of them. You've got your own journey to go on. I'm just helping you with the absolute basics step by step along the way. And as always, stay amazing.